Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today video, I'm gonna talk about the only five fragrances that you need. I know that I have a lot of perfume. I know that I don't have a lot of perfume as most of you collectors, but I have a good amount of perfume. I think I have 75 bottles. And to me, they all fit in this cabinet and that's all I need. If you're normal people, if you're not a collector, if you just enjoy scent, maybe you only need five different scents. And this five scents should cover different category of your life. You'll have a specific scent that you use that makes you happy that I think it's suitable for that specific event. So this video is uh, inspired by the scented. So I'm gonna start with the first one. This is for date night. So of course, every woman would wanna smell good when we're taken out on a date. And this is when we're gonna dress up in a black little dress for date night. I like a perfume that are statement making, but at the same time, it should also reflect your personality if you're very a go-getter if you're a, a, um, a strong woman that knows what she wants maybe go for a louder sophisticated perfume whatever it is the perfume should not repel the man so try to not use too um, masculine linen scent so just pick a perfume that is a statement making but also still reflects you for who you are my favorite for date night scent is anikutal nuit at confidences yeah this is a nice woody vanilla um this one the scent itself reminds me of lemon brisk tea from lipton iced tea i just love it and this one has um spiritual stublivany from Guerlain dna this one lasts a while, good while. It does project, but it fits my personality more. This one doesn't project too much. It smells feminine, it smells inviting, it smells like you have your life together. This one also have a nutmeg note. So nutmeg to me has this strong, message <laughs> i don't know whenever i smell a perfume that has nutmeg smell like gentle fluidity gold or nude at confidences gutal or even jimmy Choo vanilla love they all send a strong message that you're sexy independent women but you're also mature so not, there's something mature in here that i really really like not nothing aldehydic or nothing vintage type of mature this one smells like a mature woman and this is the message that i want to send when i go on a date yeah that i'm classy that i am sophisticated but i'm still pleasant and inviting and i'm still a human you know like yeah so this is my favorite when i go on a date night new it and confidences by Annie Kutal. so the second category is for professional, when I go to work, what are the perfume that I think is suitable for work environment? My my choice for work, I think, is should be a um, more mature, a serious, clean smelling, but also feminine enough, and it doesn't project too much because a lot of people are so sensitive with scent these days. But it also smells nice enough if they come into your scent bubble. It's gonna portray that, hey, you smell good, you're serious, you mean business, but you're not aggressive. So to me, uh, the best perfume for work, in my opinion, is Parfums de Marley Safanade. This one is a clean orange blossom, soapy. So it smells clean. It smells like you mean business. It smells mature. It's not playful, but it's also feminine enough. I just think that these are the scent that I want to project when I go to work. Now, the thing is, post-COVID, I still go to work, but I feel like the, the work environment here, at least in the United States, 
that the place I work has changed. So I'm now leaning towards vanilla. I tend to wear my Easy Read scent, but really, if I were to pick one of the perfume that I think every woman needs for work, it would be Popham's the Marley Soften Nut. All right, so the next one is the um, the Freshie. So for the Freshie, my pick, and this is Love at First Sniff, and it is my easy reach. I like to wear this before bed. I like to wear it after I shower. This is Zoologist Cow. I really, really love this. This just smells like a clean, soapy, baby shampoo smell this one smells like baby shampoo really it's subtle it's gentle it's appley it has soapy um it smells like baby scalp it does smells like baby shampoo it does smells like baby shampoo but it's also clean and shampooy i just love this this is my favorite favorite freshie i'm not a big fan of aquatic type of scents but I'm also not a big fan of soapy, but I just love, love, love how this one smells on me and I love how this one smells in general. This one reminds me of baby hair. It's like baby hair out of shower and she's asleep and I have two daughters so I'm gonna refer my baby as a she. This cow smells like a baby scent, really. Like she's asleep and a cow also have this milk note too, so maybe um, it reminds me of a baby. It just reminds me of a baby. There's a milk smell and there's a clean hair, scalp, and there's a shampoo scent. I love, 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 love this. This is like the best, the best freshy smell that I've ever smelled in my life. Okay. All right, so easy reach. Um, the next category is easy reads. Everybody needs an easy read scent in their collection. So my pick, there are two in my pick, but then I'm gonna be honest with myself which one I prefer more. The first one is Guerlain Mon Guerlain. I love it. I wear it a lot. This is it. Um, I wear a lot of it. Every time I don't know what to wear, I always gravitate towards wearing Guerlain Mon Guerlain. I have the EDP version, you could wear any one of them, but if I were to be honest, I reach for this one the most. This is St. Barth Vanille West Indies, and this one smells just like a salty vanilla. That's it. It smells like you're baking and you spill vanilla all over you and there's a little hint of salt in it. So the notes are vanilla, orchid, and caramel. It just smells so good. I reach for this a lot. I wear this for layering. I wear it on its own. Whenever I don't know what to wear, I just spray this because I feel like it's safe. Guys likes it. Kids likes it. It smells just like a simple vanilla. It smells like I could relax and lounge around. A vanilla is also an aphrodisiac, so it makes you get excited of cuddle time. It's just a scent that I love and I wear this a lot. I love this. Vanilla West Indies is definitely my easy reach. If you don't have this, please go check it out. Sample it. Um, if this is too expensive for you, you could get uh, Masolari Faniglia, which is similar, or even Fired Will Jovoy. But this is my pick. I wear this one the most. All right, so the last one is, uh, as the scented say, is the bougie one. So to me, when I say bougie, it means that I want to smell good and I want people to smell me and the scent should reflect a sophisticated, the scent should travel. To me, the definition of bougie means musky or, you know, ambroxan. It has to have something that's airy, that's travels, that, that could project to you. I should be able to leave a siat so, so that you could smell me and get attracted to me. So bougie one doesn't necessarily mean the price is expensive. So my pick is Pierre Guam, Pierre Goulam, Dialogue with Venus. I love this one. It's musky, it's peachy, it's vanillic. So this one smells like a gummy 
peach gummy bear, peach gummy ring from the supermarket, but it has like Narciso like musk. So to me, this smells like bougie. To me, bougie is musky. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please help me to grow my channel. Appreciate you watching this video and yeah, these are the five perfumes that I think every woman needs as of today. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.